Welcome back to another video. Yesterday started that severe weather outbreak and there were some severe thunderstorms that were issued. There were some hail reports and some wind reports. Uh, some people saw up to an inch and a half in diameter hail. So pretty significant down in Texas and Louisiana. But now that it's moving north, Nashville, Tennessee, you just got hit by these storms. They're moving into cooler, less humid environments. So they're not as intense as what they were yesterday, but that might change towards the weekend as cities like Nashville uh, get hit again by these storms. This is making its way up the east coast. So into tonight, the storm's going to start moving northeast. There could be some snow in the higher elevations of the Appalachians. And in Maine, you're going to start out as snow, and then you will switch over to rain Saturday morning. Now by Sunday, we have a weak low pressure system right here. This is going to develop some thunderstorms down south, snow up north. Uh, the main threat with these storms would be hail, wind, and a possible tornado, but that threat for tornadoes will go away. Now behind the storm is very cold air that's going to be moving down from Canada. This should be our last batch of Arctic air for the winter, and I'll explain why in a second. But anyway, a line of thunderstorms is going to develop from Texas all the way up through Kentucky. There could be some thunderstorms in West Virginia. Now the only threat with these thunderstorms would be hail, heavy winds, and of course some flooding, but there shouldn't be any threats for tornadoes if I click on the sounding. You'll see wind directions are relatively the same as we go up higher in the atmosphere. Now this low in Canada is going to push out. Cold air from Canada is going to push down into the United States only for the Midwest and Northeast. Uh, it will get a little bit chillier in the plains too, but don't worry, you'll warm right back up. Now for the Midwest and Northeast, if you're tired of cold, don't worry, you only have to deal with this for like two days. And then we will eventually warm back up starting Wednesday. And the jet stream will stay further north. And we shouldn't have any more Arctic blasts like that for the rest of the winter. But we'll see, March tends to surprise us. Anyway, some scattered thunderstorms by Wednesday, and then another low pressure system moving over the Rockies, which is also going to develop some thunderstorms. So yeah, that's it. Short update. Just letting you know, be careful out there. If I need to go live because these storms are getting really strong, I will. So like and subscribe. New updates tomorrow. Thanks for watching.